In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your text look like it's being projected on something in Photoshop. Let's go. So before we get started, let me remind you, if you're looking for tips, tricks, hacks, tutorials, and other design inspiration videos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time that I put a new video out. So we're here in Photoshop 2021, but you can use other versions of Photoshop, they work as well. And we're gonna dive in and get ourselves an artboard set up. So uh, I've got mine on the Insta preset, which is my usual preset for my Instagram posts. That's 3840 pixels wide by 4800 pixels high. So that's how I do it with the 72 uh, pixels per inch. So we're gonna get that started here. And we're gonna give that a name as well. We'll just call this displacement tutorial. And the first thing you want to do when you get this set up is bring your image you're going to use in. And when you're choosing an image, you want to choose something that's got some contrast to it that is a that sets the scene for something that will be projected upon. So think about when you look at a projector, when you're watching something through a projector, it's always in a dark room, maybe like a kind of coloured glow, uh, and there's always silhouettes as well. Like if, if, there's a, if there's a person in a room and it's dark, they're going to be a silhouette. So try and choose some photos on Unsplash or Pexels.com that have that kind of like silhouette, maybe like a color glow, uh, something where you can imagine a projector being on in that room. So I've gone ahead and chosen one already from Unsplash uh, here, and you can see what I'm talking about here. So we've got that kind of like colored glow. I think this may actually be a projector up here, but you've got that colored glow. You've got the silhouette of someone. Now we really want the silhouette because that's gonna help uh, create that displacement effect. So once we have that in place, uh, go ahead and center up that how you want to. It's best to get this centered now because it's gonna be much more difficult to do that later on. So get that centered up. I think that's good for me. So the next step is to add a black and white filter. So the way to do that is to click on your layer, go up to image, adjustments, and then black and white. And so now you see this is black and white and we wanna choose maximum white. The reason being this gives us the most contrast between the dark parts and the light parts of the image. So you can see that now that's kind of carved out that silhouette. If you've got an image and it's not really working with maximum white, feel free to go and try the other filters. But what you want to achieve is the silhouette to be dark and the background to be light. So that's our first part set up here. The next step is to save this as a separate file so that we can pull this in later for the displacement effect. So what we're gonna do is go to File, Save As, and we're gonna call this whatever our uh, name of our file is, and then just add the word displacement to the end. I'll just use disp for short. But before we save, click as a copy. So we're gonna save that. And so now we've got a duplicate copy of what we just made saved onto our computer. And we're gonna pull that in as part of the effect later on. So now we're still working on our original file. We're gonna pull away this black and white filter. So you can just go ahead, right click and delete that. So now we have our image back to normal. Now for me, I don't really like the color of this image, so I'm just gonna change this using a hue filter. I'm gonna change this to like a blue, because blue tends to work quite well with that projection effect. So I'm just gonna come down here, change to the hue, and I'll make this more blue, something like that. But this is totally up to you, this is your image, so do whatever you want with this part. I'll just label that as well as hue. Okay, so we've got our image in place, we've got our displacement filter in the background ready to go. The next step is to add our text. So go ahead, as per usual, put in your text however you want it to. I'm just gonna get a really simple piece of text put in here, but you can do this as fancy as you want. You can use different fonts. It all works pretty well. So I'm just gonna do this. We'll call this text projection effect. So then put this in the image where you want it to be. Now, when you put your text over the top, make sure that it covers the, the silhouette or the image, like the, the subject in the photo, but also spills over to the edges so that we can get that kind of like projected upon effect. We can see the shape of the silhouette. So I've just got mine kind of like angled slightly over here. There's some gaps where the and the X and the T kind of hang over. That's perfect for this effect. In fact, I'm gonna make this slightly larger just to get that E hanging over there as well. Okay, so now that this text is in place, we're gonna add a couple of effects that you may have seen in the last tutorial I did called Film Effect Tutorial. 
So if you've done that already, you should be pretty familiar with this. If you haven't watched that, go and check it out. Uh, it just helps us to kind of get some context into what we're doing here. So double click on your text layer. First thing we're gonna do is add an inner shadow. And we're just gonna pull a color from uh, this room. And this helps to remove the harshness of the corners so it kind of blends in with the background a bit more. Something like that will work. Okay, so now we've got that. We're gonna convert that to a smart object. So right click on the layer, click convert to smart object. Double click on that layer again. Now we're gonna do an outer glow. So click outer glow. And I've got my settings here set to 32 opacity, zero noise. The color I've chosen is from the center of the text. So the original color uh, of the font, I've chosen that. So I've got technique set to softer, spread is set to zero, and then I've got the size way up at 188 pixels. Then I've just got the range of 50% and jitter down at zero. So click OK. So now this has got this kind of glow effect. And this is the first stage into getting that kind of like light projection look. Okay, so once again, we're gonna convert that into a smart object. And now this time we're gonna add a blur and then Gaussian blur. And this just helps to soften up the text so it doesn't look like it's a really sharp thing. When you project something, normally it's not super sharp. So we're gonna kind of replicate that. So I've got it set here to three pixels. So it's already looking pretty cool. This is very similar to our film uh, text effect that we did a couple of tutorials ago. And now we're gonna take this up another level and do our displacement effect. So we're gonna turn this into another smart object here. And we do that so it doesn't mess up the effects that are already on the text. And so now we're gonna go up to filter, distort, and then displace. And you can see this dialog box appears here. Uh, and so we, we're gonna just adjust the scale and the vertical scale to about 50 pixels. This is where you're gonna start playing around. This is depending on the image you have, depending on the colors, on the brightness. We're gonna mess around with this, but normally a good place to start is 50. So the higher we set the horizontal and the vertical scale, the more we're gonna see the shape of the silhouette in the text. So 50 is a great place to start because it just gives us that flexibility. We can start to turn it up more if we need more, but also dial it back if we need to. So we're gonna have it 50, 50. We're gonna to stretch to fit and we're gonna repeat edge pixels. And you can embed the file data in there as well. Just keep that checked. So now it opens up our file browser and we're gonna choose that file we saved earlier under the displacement title. So I've got a displacement tutorial and then I've got that extra little disp saved there. So now this is gonna apply the displacement filter and you can already see that this looks like it's being projected on, so that's really cool. So mine looks pretty cool, but if yours isn't what you expected, then come down to the displace uh, filter down here, double click and then adjust the horizontal and vertical scale. Turn it up more if you're looking for more of the shape of the silhouette and turn it down more if it just is unreadable. So 50-50 works pretty well for me. So now our next step is to add a few more effects to really sell that whole projection style. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert this into smart object. And then what I'm gonna do is duplicate the layer. So what I do is go Command J on that layer. And see now you can see we've got two. So now we're gonna pick the text layer that's underneath the two. And we're gonna pick that one there. And then we're gonna to go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And so we're gonna choose maybe something like 80, let's do 80 pixels. And we're just gonna adjust the angle of that very slightly. And so what this does is kind of like bleeds in between each letter. So it feels like it's kind of like being projected. So what we can do is now play around with the blend modes and just see if it gives us an effect we're looking for. Sometimes you wanna like really blow it out with the linear dodge uh, effect. Sometimes you wanna just add a few other things in. I like to just kind of go through this and see what works. This is like the part of the process where you can kind of like lead off into your own style, uh, but I'll kind of show you what I do. So you can see there, we've got all those different blend modes, but I'm gonna keep it normal for now. So now we've got our text displacement done. What we're gonna do is just add a couple more effects just to tie everything in. So I'm gonna create a new layer here. I'm gonna to go to the paint bucket tool. I'm gonna to choose black, and then I'm just gonna cover this whole thing with a black layer. Then I'm gonna to go to filter, noise, add noise and then we'll keep this around 30. And then I'm gonna go down to normal and I'm gonna change that to, we'll do color dodge and I'll bring that down to like 50%. I may just tweak the hue slightly on this as well. And I may just also bring down the, I might add an exposure layer here 
and just bring down the exposure too. So again, this is kind of personal preference, just playing around with the image until you get what you think works. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then I may just add a final dust filter on as well by going to my folder over here and then just dragging on a dust filter. Like that. I'll bring the opacity down to that as well. So there you have it. Pretty simple if you follow the steps, how to get your text to look like it's being projected on something or someone in Photoshop. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel. And also consider subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.